So CarPlay on iOS 26 has just came out. So let's go ahead and show you exactly how to use it. Now, I know it's very dark as of this point, but this is kind of the only way I can get my CarPlay to go and get set up. So hopefully it's gonna look a lot better for you than it looks for me right now. Now within iOS 26, the layout of CarPlay is still fairly similar to what it was before. Now you can see within the screen right here, you still have your applications on the left side. You have your GPS application in the middle, and then you basically have your icons for quick toggles and stuff like that on the right side. So all that stuff still kind of still holds up the same for the most part, nothing really insane changes there. The only other big things that you're going to end up seeing for the most part is that when you start swiping through, you're going to get a couple of different toggles. So number one, you, when you swipe to the left side now, you're going to see this new widgets option. Option. This, this, I can't even speak today. This new widgets option will basically now allow us to go through and basically change out and add widgets. So now we can customize the screen on our iPhone and settings, general and CarPlay, and we can go through and start basically customizing custom widgets here, which is actually really cool. So you can click on continue and you can go and start adding these new types of widgets if you want to. So right now I only have the clock one, but you can go ahead and start adding these new types of widgets here. And you can even start swiping through. You can swipe up or down, I think. So you can change it from here to this one, to this one. It's a really cool thing. So you can now go ahead and have these customized widgets inside of your iOS 26 CarPlay. Now, if you come back home, you'll basically come into your main panel as it always looks like. If you swipe to the right side, you'll basically get into your applications. So you will be able to have your applications here as you normally would. So that is something that's actually really cool. Now, one other big thing to keep in mind here too, is that within messages, our messages application did get a pretty big update as well. So if we go inside of messages, you'll be able to see basically all your different applications and stuff here for the most part. So this still basically stays the same. Nothing here really changes for the most part. Now you can now have pinned conversations up at the top though. So if you want to, you can now have these pinned conversations within iMessages though, like if you're in an, if you're in a message, you can go through and still basically click on a message like this. Simple. And you said, Hey, how are you? Okay. You can get it. Send to stop. A photo. Okay. That's all your messages. So, so you can get it to start, you know, do stuff like that if you want to, but you also have like conversations where you can like tap back. So now you can tap back on messages super quickly, which that also in and of itself is a really cool thing. And as always, you can go ahead and basically click into your apps panel here. If you want to just basically come back home. Now, nothing beyond that basically changes. It's all pretty much the same thing. Nothing really changes here for the most part. It's all basically the same. Now, when you're getting a call, there's a new compact view for calls. So now if you're getting a call, it'll come up, it'll be much more compact. And that's another really cool thing here. Now you also have the capability of kind of going through and changing your app icons. So now if you want, you can go through and you can make your way over into your settings portion. So you can come right up here into settings and the settings application looks a little tiny bit different. You'll still see you have like, you know, your standard things like driving focus, announced messages, wallpaper display, everything here basically still looks about the same for the most part. But if you actually click on appearance right here, if you click on here, you'll start to see some new icons right here under customize icons. That's basically where we have this new option. If you tap on customize icons, you will now see this portion where it will now allow you to go through and basically change from your default view to your dark view right here or to your clear icon view. So you can go through and you can change it from being this, you know, the standard view that it was before into this like, you know, other new type of option. So now when you go back home, you'll start to see CarPlay and it will look a lot more different and it'll look you know, basically like a clear CarPlay, which is actually pretty sick. So. At a high level, that's kind of how to use most of the new things within CarPlay. Keep in mind that you also have the capability here of kind of going through and basically watching videos when you're parked. And I will show you how to do that in another video. But at a high level, that's basically how you go ahead and use CarPlay. If you have any other thoughts or questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, now me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.